Tottenham Hotspur have moved from one Portuguese manager to another, with Nuno Espirito Santo being appointed as Jose Mourinho's successor at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. In this tactical analysis piece, we will break down Nuno's philosophy, looking at his wide pressing traps and defensive solidity, to try and predict what he may do while in charge of Tottenham Hotspur. But before we get stuck into this video, hello and welcome to the Total Football Analysis YouTube channel. I'm RDF and if you're enjoying this type of content, make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Make sure you like this video as well, that is important. Also, you can share it. But now, let's get started. This here is the rolling average for expected goals and expected goals against and it's a good way to see Nuno's ability to generate improvement for his sides, both in terms of creating and letting up chances. It is immediately obvious that the 2016-17 and 2017-18 seasons were the best of his career in this regard as the XG far exceeds the expected goals against totals for these time periods. He did manage to generate periods of good form at Wolves as well, most notably in the 2019-20 season and we can see the drop off that took place last season. But overall, it is clear to see that his sides are generally quite good at restricting the opposition with the expected goals usually averaging around 1 and it's the attacking side of things that could take some time to click for Tottenham Hotspur. This is one potential lineup that we can expect to see from Spurs next season. Assuming that the signing of Tomiyasu goes through, it could immediately put a number of players in position that would amplify their strengths and minimise their weaknesses. Matt Doherty is one of the best examples here. The Irish international came to prominence under Nuno while playing in the back three, and being restored to his position as the right wing back should be much better for him as he struggled while playing as a right back last season. This here is another potential lineup that we can see from Nuno as well, as he played with both a 3 4 3 and a 3 5 2 fairly regularly at Wolves. We have provided potential alternatives to the first choice players for each position, and this shape also opens up a spot for an additional midfielder, bringing Delhi and Lo Celso into the equation. Assuming that Spurs will sit up in one of these two formations, we can now look at some specific tactical situations that are likely to arise next season. The first example is a look at how Spurs will set up in a 3-5-2 when out of possession. The opposition is in a 4-3-3 shape pair, with the wingers staying narrow in the build-up phase. When the ball is with the opposition centre-backs, the two strikers will stay central to block out the easy passes to the opposition number 6 and force the centre-backs to pass to the full-backs, which will then trigger the press. We can also see how Spurs have a numerical advantage in key areas of the pitch through the setup, a 3 vs 2 in midfield along with a 2 vs 1 out wide as the wide centre backs and wide wing backs outnumber the opposition winger. The next image shows the pressing trap in action. As the ball is played out to the left back in this example, the ball near striker will move across using his cover shadow to block the pass in midfield to the central midfielder. The ball fast striker will stick tight to the midfield pivot while also staying close enough to press the centre back if needed. The wing back on that side will move higher to track the winger, who will drop deep to offer a passing option down the line, with the other defenders still managing to create a numerical overload against the remaining attackers. This is how Tottenham can then win the ball back in this situation. The wing backs will advance, aggressively pressing the left back, with one of the central midfielders moving up as well to support and forming a wide triangle of sorts to block the left back's passing options. The remaining central midfielders will stay tight to their direct opponents, while the defenders will move across to form a back four and cover the advancing wing back. One of the situations when a 3-5-2 is used is when the opposition is good at playing through the central areas and so the aim is to deny the central progression and force them wide where the ball can be won back. These examples show just how this system would work under Nuno. It's something that his wolf sides were excellent at and will definitely be replicated at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium next season. However, we have already mentioned how Wolves move between a 3-5-2 and a 3-4-3 quite regularly and it is likely that this sort of flexibility will be seen at Spurs as well. While the 3-5-2 is used against opposition who are good at central progression, the 3-4-3 is deployed when opponents prefer to use the flanks to advance up the field, 
With wing backs and wingers, your team can ensure that they are not overloaded in the wide areas, while the defensive shape can be set up in a way to cover the width of the pitch. This is exactly how Spurs will play out of possession under Nuno in this shape. The wingers and wing backs will drop back to form a 5 4 1 that covers the wide areas, with the midfield shifting across horizontally when needed and making it easier to defend against wingers as well as advancing full backs, while the lone striker will also drop off and shadow the opposition's creative midfielder. While we cannot be certain of how Spurs will play in possession, there are some patterns of play that Wolves use quite frequently under Nuno and it can be therefore be assured that it will be seen at Spurs as well. In the 3-4-3, it's vital to use the wide spaces when attacking and one of the most common ways in which Wolves attacked can be seen in the image. Both wingers will stay narrow and close to the striker to draw the opposition defence line narrow as well and create space for the wing backs to move forward. The winger on the ball side will drop off to offer a simple wall pass, drawing the defender out with him and therefore creating space for a 1-2, with the wing back then able to burst past his man and attack the space behind the defensive line, as the other attackers rush to get into the box to get on the end of crosses or cutbacks. This can work quite well in the Spurs setup as well. On the other hand, in the 3-5-2, it is the central space that will be attacked and this is another commonly seen pattern that Spurs will potentially use next season. One of the three midfielders will drop deep into the defensive line drawing out our opposition midfielder. At the same time, the two strikers will stay high to pin the opposition's defensive line, creating space between the lines for one of the central midfielders to advance into, as shown in the image. One of the two strikers can also drop off to combine with this player, and this sort of setup will be especially beneficial for Tunga Dombele. The Frenchman is excellent at carrying the ball upfield and he is likely to be fielded on the left of the midfield trio for Tottenham, giving him the space to run forward and influence the game from higher up the pitch in this manner. In Nuno Espirito Santo, Spurs have hired an excellent manager, one who is capable of adapting changes and setbacks, while he will also be able to create a good atmosphere in the dressing room and on the training ground. This is extremely important as well, given the toxicity that had marked the end of Jose Mourinho's tenure and Nuno's empathy and compassion should make him popular with the Spurs squad in no time. In terms of his work on the pitch and expected tactics, we can expect to see Spurs defence improve markedly and while their attack could take a little time to gel, keeping hold of Harry Kane will speed up that process significantly. Unfortunately, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video. Make sure you are subscribed and also you can share this video. This article was written by Harsha Patel. Make sure you do check it out on the Total Football Analysis website. But I will see you soon and stay safe. Peace out.